guys, welcome back to Broken Dolly TV. My name is Gypsy and I'm your host for this video today. I'm doing something a little bit different than what I normally do and it's kind of like a hybrid uh, request slash just something I felt like doing. But um, a while ago, a couple of you guys had asked us to feature specific dolls in our collection and go like into more detail about those dolls and because uh, we didn't do a review on every single doll that we own so I thought well this would be a good time to do that and it's a little bit awkward for me because I'm kind of used to having like all my dolls on display and I can access them very quickly but since we moved to Washington State I am not able to do that because most of my dolls are not on display they're all boxed up so I have to kind of like go digging through the boxes to find the ones that I want to share with you guys. And the ones that I'm going to show you in this video today are basically like my current shelf dolls, I guess. Like the ones that I have out kind of um, in my room. And I don't have a specific place for them. So they're literally just all over my room, like on my nightstand, <laughs> on my TV stand, on my desktop, like they're just everywhere. So it's just a few dolls, but I wanted to show you guys um, how I kind of customize them a little bit and then explain to you what I like about them and plans I have for these specific dolls. And maybe you guys can share with me some suggestions or your own uh, take on the dolls. So let's let's start okay so the doll i want to show you guys first i guess i can start with this one so and some of these dolls i don't actually remember like exactly which dolls they are so the information that's missing i'll try to insert them in text form on screen um so just be aware you might have to do a little bit of reading while you're listening but anyway this girl she is supposed to be from the Jurassic Park dolls line and uh, it's the first one I pick up and I already forgot it. Like I don't know what this character's name is because I never watched the movie but the actress that plays her um, character, her name is something Howard and um, she's Ron Howard's daughter. I know that but I forget her first name anyway. Um, I really like the actress because she played on a couple different things that I've watched like on uh, Black Mirror on Netflix and I thought she was kind of quirky and funny and I do like the actress so I thought it would be nice to have a doll that has her head mold. Her hair is just tied up in a simple ponytail. This is the style that it was in when I got the doll and I didn't really tamper with her. I just took her straight out of the box and like removed her clothes and so this is her original body that she's on. It's not made to move even though she does have the made to move joint in her knees but as you can see here she's missing all the other joints that go on her leg and like her elbows and stuff it's just a regular joint that you see on plain line articulation dolls so i don't know if you guys can see the detail that good i'll try to zoom in for you but the shirt that she has on this graphic is uh one of Gino's designs actually it's like a hip-hop unicorn or something i don't know how to describe it but Gino, my son he draws and that's his thing you guys so lately he's been making me different designs that i can wear like on masks and on my doll's clothes so i'm gonna see if i can get him to make some for you guys as well um if you want some original designs for your doll's clothing but the shirt that she's got on is just a regular mattel shirt and he just happened to put this design on there for me so that's how that turned out and then she's wearing this leathery pleathery skirt so I just changed her into this outfit not because it was some special outfit or anything but I just wanted to see what it was gonna look like for her to wear something other than what she came in because I do that with all of my dolls I don't have any dolls that are in their original condition once I remove them from packaging and like add them officially to my collection um, it's just always been that way for me like I cannot stand to watch my dolls inside the box I can't stand for them to be looking the way they look when they first 
were released from packaging because I feel like it's very generic and like everybody has the exact same dolls. So that's why I always change them when I take them out of the box so I can like see what kind of personalities they might have and it helps me to figure out what names to give them. And her hair, like I said, I didn't tamper with it uh, because I don't have the time or the proper space to really like get into it like I want to. But her hair here, the front part, this is all like stiff with like gel. They put gel in the doll's hair to keep it like this. And then all this back here is hard too in her ponytail. But the actual hair back here that's loose, this stuff is not hard. It's not, it doesn't have gel in it. It's really soft. So I'm really tempted to like take her hair down and see how it looks and see how the rooting looks on the inside. Um, but I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. And then when I do, of course, I'll put that up on Instagram for you guys to see how she turned out so you can see her freckles because her face has freckles on them And I think that's super cute and I'm very partial to redheads Another reason why I took a liking to the sculpt and this actress's likeness. I haven't given her name She's just hanging out in my collection for now. I feel like she's like Not at her full capacity of like awesomeness like you can't really like see what what possibilities there could be for styling with this doll because I haven't taken her hair out of the original style but you know she's just like incomplete that's how it feels to me um okay let's move on to the next doll I'm gonna show you this one and she's a fashionista doll of course I don't remember what number because there's a lot of numbers. <laughs> There's a lot of numbers, okay? They're going up into the hundreds now. I can't keep track. But anyways, it should be up on the screen for you guys. So she's actually wearing the original outfit that this doll came in, okay? And um, what I did with her, so she's a fashionista, but I popped her head off the original body, and then I stuck it on this tall basketball player made to move body this is the only basketball player tall body that I have and I specifically bought it to put her head on I feel like yeah that's I like when I got this doll I knew before I even purchased this doll that I was gonna want her on the tall body so everything was like deliberate with this uh, combination so she's a hybrid and I wanted her because I do not have this head sculpt and to me this sculpt look like one I hadn't seen before. I'm not familiar with the name of this sculpt. Like somehow she looks kind of familiar but at the same time I can't quite put my finger on it. Do we already have other dolls with the sculpt you guys? Tell me her name in the comments if you happen to know it. Um, to me she looks very similar to Pazette but I don't think that it is that sculpt. I don't know. So, I don't know. This is my personal opinion. But I'm pretty good at guessing head sculpts. But, guys, I have been so, like, distracted lately with all the different things going on in my life that, like, I feel like I'm missing something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's something, something's going on that I missed. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to need you guys to help me out and fill me in. And um, I know it's always, it's usually the other way around where you guys are asking me the questions and I'm giving you the information. <laughs> but I need some help, okay? So, yeah. But I thought she was, like, not pretty. I don't know how to explain this doll. Like, to me, she doesn't look pretty, like a, like a gorgeous, glamorous, beautiful face. But something about her face just looked very, like, relatable, like, very ordinary and very much like a regular person I would see walking down the street. And she also had, like, a very ethnic look. To me, that she could be an Arab girl or Indian, maybe. And I love having different sculpts where I can uh, have them represent different ethnicities. So I just knew I wanted to add this one to my collection. And she's one of the very, very few dolls that I've added since moving to Washington State. Because I haven't really been shopping for dolls since we've been here. And her hair is an interesting texture because I do see there's a little bit of like a curl at the ends. But it's really straight and like it was just plain and down when I got her. 
So I'm wondering, um, I feel like her hair is rooted very, very full, almost too full. And I want to do something to this doll to like totally like give her a makeover. I want to flatten her hair, I think. I want to try like flattening it and making it really straight and see if that would probably look cute on her. I think it would. And I think I want to also change up her makeup a little bit and make her look a little more glammed up than she is, but not too overboard because I'm not really into all that like stuff on the doll's face, but I don't know. I think she would look cute with a makeover. So I'm thinking about doing that with this doll and hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. And I was just curious about the tall body types with the made to move articulation because I didn't have any before this one. And the next one I'm planning to get is hopefully is going to be the, um, that doll, the BMR 1959 doll from wave two, the Asian one that's really tall. I am very curious about that doll, so I would like to add her, and then she'll be her little tall friend. Again, I don't have a name for this doll yet, and I don't know. I've been kind of holding off on naming dolls because, I don't know, just something about my situation right now with my collection, just something feels incomplete because I cannot display them and access them the way that I normally would or would like to, so I just feel like... I'm gonna save the naming of my dolls until I feel more secure and like <laughs> relaxed about my collection because I don't know, like I find pleasure in giving them names and personalities. Like it makes me feel like I can just be creative and like imagine stories for them. So I don't wanna be doing that and getting lost in my, my thoughts by starting to name them right now. So that's why they don't really have names. Um, next one let's see i'll show you what boy i have so you guys already saw this guy in the review video that i have posted of him go check it out if you have not already i showed you all his details and he's still wearing the outfit that he was wearing from when i was reviewing him including the shirt where one of genu's graphics are on the front and he's got this bun with real rooted hair coming out of his head y'all i really like this guy um adonis got me this one for my birthday and he's of course on a made to move by design you you so he is chilling and i didn't do anything to him other than just take his hair down for the review and then i threw it back up in a bun but my bun is messier than the one that he came with i love his shoes I love that these shoes have a straight up groove in them to keep his feet in place so they don't slip all over the place because there's nothing else holding them there in place except for the strap that goes across the top. So I think the design for these shoes were like genius and definitely doing their job. So I'm feeling it. And I love that he's got basically like the best articulation that's out there for Barbie dolls. So that's totally what's up. He's really pale and I wish that, I hope that the next wave of the boys of the BMR collection will have different skin tones. Um, I need, guys, I need this skin tone. Where he at? This guy, who's got this guy, this surfer looking dude? I need a body for him, okay? I borrowed a, a Captain Kirk body for him temporarily, but it's still too light not quite on um, the right skin tone match but it'll do for now and I wasn't gonna get this doll but the reason why I got him was because I'm actually planning to use him for um a makeover head for daddy from daddy and Davy show from our skit broken barbie show so <laughs> and I I think I don't know what happened but some somebody did something to my my head for that doll and like it's like damaged so i wanted to get um like a like a an updated upgraded head for him so i've actually been looking for a replacement head for him for the longest i cannot remember what his original head sculpt which version of ken he was but i was like yeah i might as well use this guy because he looks similar but at the same time um they look different enough that you could believe that if daddy was to go get plastic surgery or something that he would look slightly different you know you know does that make sense so he also was a fashionista's doll 
and all I did was just pop his head off and stick it on his body. I literally, I didn't even have time to change him out of these clothes. Like that's how much I don't have time to like devote to my doll collection right now. Um, <laughs> cause I would, no, this is like, I don't know for me, like no, like what is this? What is this? But good thing it's Halloween cause I could kind of get away with passing it off for Halloween costume. Anyway, um, but yeah, but because he's supposed to be daddy's new face, I do plan on giving him a little bit more customization. We're gonna tweak his eyebrows. We're gonna give him some lip gloss because the original daddy has some gloss on his lips and probably some earrings. Cause you know he like that bling bling. And then this is the major difference is that this daddy's gonna have long hair. So I could do some funky little hairstyles with him because I feel like Daddy's character is very confident and he would absolutely like rock this hair and get his use out of his long hair. Like he would definitely have stilos. Like he would be changing up his hairstyle. So look forward to seeing that. But like I said, he's super tan and I just, I need a made to move body with this kind of skin tone. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm not gonna lie, he's very expressive. Like he needs to be able to say what he needs to say. Okay. Um, what else we got going on over oh, sure. Okay, so I got my little my little Gigi doll right here. You feel me? And anyway, her face is so freaking pretty. Like she's supposed to look like uh, what is that girl's name? Gigi. Um, but yeah, she's supposed to look like a, a, a model whose face they used as the basis for her sculpt. And her hair is like blondish long. I feel like I did do, I feel like I did a review of this doll. She had on like a Tommy Hilfiger outfit when I first got her, but she's not on her original body. It was articulated originally, but a completely different body type than what she's on right now. As you can see, she's a thicky thicky because I used, you know whose body this is? Little Bo Peep. Yeah, Little Bo Peep Barbie. And somehow I got came across one of those dolls. It was like the last one in the store that I found it in on clearance for like seven bucks or something. And I was like, oh, hell no, I got to try this out. So I picked it up and then I swapped the head onto this body. And I think I gave her original body to another doll, which I can't think of right now which doll it is. And then she, I don't know, I thought it suited her okay. But it was really just an experiment to see if it would even like work at this, all. The little um, Bo Peep body is a little different than the original like curvy made to move bodies. She doesn't have exactly curvy made to move joints, but here, let me show you guys. Um, the hips down, she does have like the made to move style joints in her legs. What, that's awesome. And her thighs, they rotate. But her upper body doesn't have any special joints. They're just regular playline level joints. So there's a little bit of limitation there, which is a bit disappointing. But like I said, this little Bo Peep body, not a made to move body. She does match the curvy made to move um, doll body from the yoga series, uh, Peach Top. If you want to use one of those instead, go and do that. But this is what her body looks like. And I thought it was a unique body type. It's a little different. She's like bottom heavy, but then she's got a tiny little waist. And this waist is much smaller than a curvy uh, made to move dolls, which I can show you to compare. And then as you can see, like her chest is not very big at all. Her chest doesn't protrude that far from her um, torso. So she has a very like, subtle kind of a body type even though it's a curvy body and I thought that was kind of different and cute and a good representation of diversity so that's why I wanted to put her on this body I think I feel like sometimes like the neck is way too short <laughs> I don't know why like I just feel like I need a little bit more neck space here but like neck length would be nice but I'm not sweating it because it's really not a big deal. And I feel like, I think I'm just being a little bit anal, but I don't know. 
yeah and um i didn't really do nothing special to her hair i had some braids in it so that's why it's kind of wavy up here in the front but i haven't really done much to this doll other than swap her body out of course but i did like the original body that she came on too that was a pretty neat body i didn't have no problem with it so i did have her wearing one of these um shirts all right so gino actually he made this for me he, he did the graphic and like you know the lettering and all of that stuff he draws everything by hand he sketches everything and then he'll like put them into his like digital format whatever he uses like he's got like a tablet that he uses to digitize his drawings and then he's able to like print them and stuff i don't know like i don't know exactly what he does but they start off as hand-drawn drawings is what i'm trying to say y'all it's not a game out here y'all okay next guy on my little doll shelf is this green-haired zoo that tevin tevin gave me my friend tevin and i love Kaima. hi tevin what you doing <laughs> i'm a dork <laughs> ah! Anyway, so Tevin sent me this doll, and I did do a review of him too, so you can go and check that out. And he's wearing my other BMR guys' glasses, because they look so fly. And he is so cool. And he's also wearing his hoodie, now that I'm looking at him. Yeah! And he's got, of course, the made-to-move body. So he can... Pose his little heart out. At first, when I was reviewing the dolls, I felt like the chest plate for the boys was kind of useless. And I didn't like them. And But I've been playing around with them a little bit. And like, yo, he can really like tilt. Like, I didn't think that the tilt was that significant because the female dolls, I feel like the tilt doesn't really do anything for them. I don't know. Am I being biased? Like, they have a chest plate too, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just saying. Like, I just say it. I thought that it was useless. But it's actually not. It's pretty useful. So I'm kind of glad that they did give them chest plate. But you know what it is? It's because, like, forward and backward, they don't move that much. So that's why I'm like, what do you have the chest plate for? Because I'm thinking, like, you should be able to, like, bend the doll this way, you know, and that way. But the side to side action is pretty good. It's not that bad. So I'm okay with that. But whatevs. It is what it is. Some people like to use them. Some people don't. But I like them. Be cute. Anyway. Alright. Here we go. Next doll. And she is adorable. This one is one of my favorites in my collection right now. Um, she's not new, but she's one of my favorites. That's why I have her out all the time. Her head sculpt is Selma, and she is originally the Harlem uh, Theater doll. So this one's designed by Carlisle Nubera. And like many of the dolls that he makes, she has, of course, made it into my favorites collection. And I really love her short bob hairstyle even though i'm not really a big fan of short hair in general but i don't know it just suits her really good and the bangs look cute and um she's definitely on a made to move body at this stage but she didn't come with a body like this she came with i think she had regular articulated body if i'm not mistaken and i just needed her to be a little bit more movable so I switched her out and then now she can do whatever she wants to do. And she's actually wearing a Hasbro Mul Mulan doll um, outfit. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's Halloween. My dolls are dressed kind of crazy right now. But I just wanted to see what it would look like on her if it would even fit her. Because that doll, she came on such a skinny little body that I didn't think that her clothes could fit any other dolls. So I was really just experimenting to see if she could fit them, and she does. But um, these boots and this stockings, that's from a different outfit. That's not from Mulan. But anyway, just wanted to test out the outfit, see how it would look on a different doll's body type. And it worked, so that's why she's wearing this right now. But 
I just love her expression and I love her big pudgy lips like like on real life people I love lips like this I don't know I'm a lips person there's like certain body parts that I'll just like obsess over and like concentrate so much on over other body parts like I'm like always noticing people's like hairlines I'm always noticing their lip shape I notice their eye shape a lot um I don't really I don't think I'm really like a nose person but definitely when it comes to lips and eyes like you gotta be on points okay I could like fall in love with a face just because I like their lips and like nothing else about their face just their lips <laughs> so she was one of those faces like as soon as I saw the sculpt I was like oh my god I need to have a little pudgy cute lips in my collection so now she's here speaking of Mulan this is the Mulan doll that I'm talking about whose clothes she's wearing but she is not on her original body. She's actually on a Barbie body. The Made to Move Yoga doll with the peach top. That's the body she's on. However, I do want to point out for those of you who are maybe interested in getting this doll. Um, I literally only got her for her head, okay? But she's not the exact same skin tone as this body. Even though she's super pale looking. But she's really she's more yellow. Like I, You probably can see on camera what I'm talking about. See how her skin is more like a pink and her face is more like a yellowish kind of color. So it's not quite exactly a match. But the naked eye can't really tell the difference when you're just looking at the doll in regular lighting. So that's why I didn't make a big fuss over it. I just, I don't know, I thought she would look cute as a little thick girl. But as you can see between her torso and hers, see these guys are the same skin tone but their shapes are a little different and to me they're both curvy body types but like i said the little bow peep body is a little bit different than hers because like look their chest is different hers sticks out a little bit more mulan's and their butt size is different their waist size is totally different hers is totally like cinched in and hers is more wide so there is a huge difference in how they're built and that variety was what I was going for when I wanted this body type. So, I don't know. I noticed stuff like that. I thought that it was interesting to have that difference. But she's got the full made to move articulation. So, that's fun. And then her shirt that she's wearing is also one of Genu's designs. And I just literally just took a plain gray Barbie shirt. And I was like, yo, we'll hook this one up for me. And then he gave me this little mushroom guy <laughs> that he drew. And now she's wearing it. So that's where the clothes, um, where the top came from. And then the bottoms are just Puma uh, sweatpants from a fashion pack that I purchased. Along with this watch that the outfit came with. So it's like just little, little sweatpants, little jogging pants. And then she's just got on some sneakers. And her hair. So this is a Hasbro doll and the Hasbro company like i don't know like they're here mm. it's saran hair but you can tell when you feel the hair that the quality of the saran is different compared to barbie doll saran hair like this stuff does not get tangled you can brush it up a jillion times and it's gonna be like this all the time and i don't know like how they do that but these this fiber is like really really good with um, a lot of wear on the doll, but Hasbro and sometimes the Disney dolls, their hair quality is completely different. This is better than Disney dolls hair quality, but it's very shiny and stuff like Barbie hair. But when you feel it, I don't know, just something about it. Like you can tell it's not quite exactly the same type of material and the fibers feel a little more coarse, a little more rough. So if you're, and it's also very lightweight, like see how her hair just looks like it's like poofy kind of but it's laying as flat as it could in its natural like weight, which is not flat at all, really. <laughs> like, it looks like it's puffy, you know? But her hair was supposed to be like down like this. When I, when I bought the doll, her hair was down like this. So I don't know why this hair is like this, but I don't know. But the Hasbro dolls be like that, so that's not nothing new. I'm just saying there's a difference. So this doll here, you gotta be kind of careful with it and just don't overly, overly like mess with the doll's hair too much. 
But if you're gonna customize the doll, do something different with it, you know, you can heat treat it and all of that stuff um, with like water, boiling water. You can do that with this kind of doll hair and change up the textures and all of that. I don't know, maybe I'll curl her hair and see how she looks with big curls. That might be cute. That's a good idea. Yeah, I might do that. But I just really wanted this doll because when I saw her face, I was like, oh, this is a different kind of version of Mulan. Like, they didn't try to make her look like the cartoon character Mulan. They had her more sculpted to look like the... She looks like the actress from the live-action version of Mulan, the movie. So that's why her face was, like, kind of different looking. But she don't really look like the actress either. Like, she don't. But she doesn't look like the Disney cartoon character, you know? She looks a little different. Well, Donna says that she looks like Shang's sister. And I have Shang doll somewhere around here. So when I have him pulled out, we'll do a comparison and see how much they look alike. <laughs> we have the Disney version of Shang. But anyways, I just felt like she just didn't look all like, you know, the Disney version of Mulan. Like she got like the eyes like this and like her eyebrows is all crazy looking. Like she just doesn't look like that. So that's why I thought that would be nice to have like a, she just looks very like soft and like feminine, you know? Um, but without doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff to her face, she didn't have like tons of makeup on, so I like that. My favoriteest out of all of the ones that I've shown you guys, I'm gonna say she's up there with this doll as far as how much I favor her. And this one is, um, what the hell doll is this? This is, and she did not come on this body. She had a different body. I took her head off and put her onto a made to move body and of course I wanted her cause her freaking face is the bomb okay. and she's got this crazy crazy wavy crinkly curly just crazy big hair like her hair is huge this doll actually reminded me so much of this in um, Integrity Toys doll that I really like that I've never been able to get. Uh, what is the name of that damn doll? Niasha, I think, is her name. And to me, like her whole like style, her vibe, her face reminded me a lot of that doll. So I thought like she would be like my bootleg Barbie version of her. <laughs> And just the personality of the way she looks kind of made me feel like, yeah, those dolls are like cosmic twins, kind of, you know? So that's who this is. I love her face up. Her face is so gorgeous. And like, she looks like, to me, she looks like a real person. And this head sculpt, oh, I know I know this head sculpt. This is the same sculpt that they use for the i want to say hard rock cafe um barbie one one of the versions of the hard rock cafe barbies and i know this head sculpt's name but it just totally slipped my mind hopefully i'll remember it while i'm editing and it'll be up here on the screen for you but yeah this is i don't have that many dolls with this sculpt i think i have her and maybe one other doll possibly but i could be wrong i might not even have another doll it might be just this one but I love the Hard Rock Cafe version of this doll who has a darker skin tone than her. And I know it's like impossible for me to ever get that doll because they're like so expensive now and like totally discontinued. So I was like, screw that, I want her. Um, so yeah, I got her, I think I found her at, I wanna say I found her at Tuesday morning, maybe? For like a really good price. So I got her and she had all kinds of bright knickknacks that she came with but i'm not into all of that stuff so i don't even know what i did with it i might have threw it away or no i didn't throw it away i might have sold it on ebay or something but yeah i don't have any of her original stuff um but i just have her in like some dressy pants and some heels and then she's wearing one of these barbie tops that my son gene customized for me with this rainbow ice cream scoop it's like an ice cream flower or something i don't know this doesn't even exist in real life of course total fantasy but it's cute so that's what this little 
images on there. She's got huge hoop earrings on. My favorite thing about her really is her hair though. Like it's so huge, but it's so manageable and it's not like tangly. It doesn't, it doesn't misbehave. Like as you cannot have hair like this. It's like just huge curls that are tame. Like look at my hair. <laughs> God, if my hair was like this and this long, like I would wear it curly down all the freaking time. But I don't know, this doesn't grow like that. So this is like, whoa, this is my spirit hair right here. Okay. And then I love that it's got the different tones, like the colors. She's got this brown color and then the blonde color kind of mixed in like that Beyonce hair color, two tone thing going on. I don't know, I just, this doll is like so put together. I really like her. I love the way that she was designed and I was so excited to like rebody her and put her on some different like day-to-day -day clothes um from the big glammy stuff that she was wearing when I got her and I have no complaints about this doll at all so always keep this doll out because I love looking at her and she just makes me feel really calm and happy if you look like this you can be my BFF <laughs> You don't have to talk, you don't have to do anything. You just gotta stand in front of me and let me stare at you all day long, okay? So, it's the easiest BFF gig ever. I'm taking applications, so fill them out in the comments. Your name, the state you is in, and um, I guess you could. Can you post pictures on comments in YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> Remember when they used to let you reply to YouTube videos with videos? Like you could give them a video reply instead of a comment? Tell me in the comments if you remember that being a thing when YouTube first came out. Yeah, it totally was. But if you can reply with pictures, that would be kind of fun. So yeah, attach your picture. Okay, you gotta look like her. If you look like her, we are BFFs automatically. Thank you. All right, so I think that's all of them that I have just out in my room right now. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them that I showed you guys today. And all of them don't have names except for Zadzi because he is an old character that we're giving a new face to, literally. Other than him, nobody else has names, I'm sorry. So if you guys have questions about any of them, you're gonna have to just give me like descriptive words to figure out which one we're talking about. Cause if you'd be like, oh, the doll from five minutes and 30 seconds in, I'd be like, bro, I don't know what doll that is. <laughs> you gotta get more specific cause I ain't about to go through the damn video looking for five minutes and 30 seconds in so I can figure out what doll you're talking about. I don't know. So just figure it out though. <laughs> the way you're gonna describe them, okay? So I'm gonna hold them up for you guys so you can Get a last look at the ones that I showcase for you guys. And then if you liked this video, go ahead and leave me a comment to let me know so that I can find another batch for you guys to look at and we can go over details and, you know, significant facts about them uh, like we did in this one. And hopefully those ones will have names so we wouldn't have to play this guessing game, but it is what it is. Anyways. All right, I'm gonna talk to you guys later and have a dolly day. Bye. Oh God, crazy ass names for these damn dolls. She looks like the dude from Milan, the doll, his sister. She looks like that guy. Aiden Duchesne, she looks like, she looks like Shane's sister. She ain't got a sister? No, but that's what she looks like. Oh, she looks like Shane. <laughs> I don't like, like that. Shane. We have Shane somewhere. I know, if I pull it out, she looks like that. Um, what was her damn name? <laughs> I remember it. No, that was the other one. She's from a different wave. <sighs> Whatever, I'll put up on the screen, but yeah. And then, let's see if we can get a focus. Focus, man. Ugh, okay.